Hey everybody, um, so this is going to be a comparison video um, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I review a lot of products and a lot of similar products, a lot of dog shampoos, a lot of de-shedding tools, a lot of dog brushes um, and it's great and it's great information but it's only on one item in one place. So I got to thinking that maybe you guys would want to see multiple items in one place so you could compare them very easily instead of trying to remember which one was the most expensive and which one worked the best and all of that stuff. So I'm going to do a comparison today of um, some de shipping tools and I have three of them. I have the Magic Pro from Happy Dogs. I have the Fur Blaster from Dark Pets and I have a Furminator. Um, so what I, I want to start out by talking about these shedding tools um, a little bit. I did uh, make a video and I, I wrote an article about de-shedding your dog and um, it covers exactly how to go about de-shedding your dog, ways to use de-shedding tools, uh, along with um, the importance, I guess, I, I should say, of de-shedding your dog, that um, getting rid of that loose hair is actually beneficial to your dog as well as to yourself because it's not around your house. So. I have these de-shedding tools and there are a couple of things when you're looking to buy a de-shedding tool that you want to look for. Um, obviously, price, whenever you're buying anything, you really should not have the mindset that you want the cheapest product. Um, even on the other end of the spectrum or the most expensive product, you, you shouldn't just think that if it's the most expensive, it's going to be the best quality because that's not always the case. Um, and the same way with if it's the cheapest product, you you usually do get what you pay for. So if you're buying something cheaper, it may be of lesser quality, it may have less features, um, it may not work as well. So you need to really get price out of your mind. You do need to stick to a budget. Um, but what I would recommend is is saying to yourself, what can you spend on this product? I can spend up to $50 on this product. I can spend up to $100 on this product. Set yourself a limit that you can't go over, um, but don't, don't trap yourself to only the cheapest product or only products under $20 or something like that. Set a budget that you, you can manage um, and go from there. So when it comes to de-shedding tools, Depending on your budget, you're going to have a very wide array. You can get most average de-shedding tools between $20 and $30 um, for quality products. You can get products upwards of $50. So, you know, maybe you can't afford to spend $50, $60, $75 on a de-shedding tool. Say you can spend $50 and no more than $50. So you're going to look in that price range between $0 and $50. What can you get? Um, if you can spend upwards of $75 or $100, you can look in those um, areas as well, but don't limit yourself just by price. Stick to your budget and then look at all the available options in that price range because you never know what you're going to find. Um, sometimes you can find really top quality products for a cheaper price because they're made in different ways with different materials that might cost less. Um, and sometimes in certain instances you may have to spend a lot. So um, speaking of price, I, I will start off there, I guess, because that is the biggest difference between these products. Um, I will go with the Furminator. This is the most expensive product. It's also the most top quality um, product made with the best materials, which is quite common when things are more expensive. Um, one of the things that I really love about the Furminator is that you can buy it in so many different options. It comes in uh, options for short hair and long hair and different sized dogs, small, extra small, medium, large, extra large. Um, so there's many, many options and you can get a medium brush for long hair and a medium brush for short hair. So you can mix and match and, and really there's a lot of fantastic options um, for Furminator. As far as versatility, um, you're, you're then limited because, for example, um, the Furminator that I have is for a um, medium sized dog with short hair. So that really limits the options of, of the dogs that you can groom with this tool. However, for your medium-sized dog with short hair, this is the ideal brush customized to their needs. So that's, to me, um, the availability of options in this case is actually a pro and a con. Um, it can be a great thing if you have just one dog and if you, um, a lot of people buy 
a breed, for example, um, we are boxer lovers, we do have other breeds, but um, that tends to be our breed of choice. So I adopted one boxer many, many years ago, fell in love with the breed, and we've continued to raise boxers now for many years. Um, so if I bought a Furminator for a medium-sized dog with short hair, um, or even some of our boxers have been on the large side, I guess, but um, so if you buy a large size for short hair, I'm going to be able to use this on boxers for generations. Uh, if you're somebody that uh, tends to just um, go and adopt mutts from the shelter, um, great thing to do, first of all, kudos to you. Um, second of all, the issue there is going to be that sometimes you may get a short hair dog, sometimes you may get a long hair dog, you may end up with a medium dog, a large breed dog. So uh, your furminator may only last for one pet. If you have a home like ours and you have multiple dogs, um, this furminator only works on our boxer. We have a small breed, she's a beagle mix with a, a thicker coat. Um, it's a single coat, but it's a bit thicker than our boxers. Uh, and then we have the Chocolate Lab Sadie, who you've seen in some of my reviews, who has a thick double coat. Um, and this is not going to work for her double coat. She's also um, much larger. She's about 20 pounds uh, larger than our boxer, so this is not going to work for her. Um, Chloe is right about the 50-55 pound mark, so she's at the far end. I believe this works for... Um, uh, medium sized dogs are 21 to 50 pounds, Furminator considers a medium sized dog, so she's right on the upper end of that spectrum. Um, so this, this, I mean we can use it on our, on our lab, not saying that you can't, we can also use it on our, on our Beagle of course, um, but it just isn't geared towards their customized needs. So the availability of options is great if you tend to adopt the same breed, um, you know, or if you just have one dog and you want a really great de-shedding tool that's going to cater to their needs, uh, Furminator is a good choice. If you have multiple dogs, you don't want to buy multiple brushes. If you tend to um, adopt mixed breeds, you you may not want to look at the Furminator. Um, so, depending on the size that you choose and what coat type for short coats or long coats, your price is going to vary a little bit. This is, again, the medium size for dogs with short hair, and this one costs $45. So on the price range of de-shedding tools, Furminator is certainly at the higher end of that um, price range. Not to say that it's not worth it, because it, it, it certainly is. Um, the hair that this pulls off our boxer in shedding season, absolutely, the $45 was worth every year that I don't have to vacuum tons of clumps of hair around our home. So. Um, it certainly is worth the price that you pay. It is just more expensive if you're on a budget. Keep that in mind. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple of the things that the Furminator has that most de-shedding tools have, and then we'll talk a little bit about its unique qualities. Um, so one thing that you want to always, always get when you have a de-shedding tool, when you purchase a de-shedding tool, it come, make sure it comes with a guard. Um, not only is this a safety feature for you and for the, excuse me, other people in your house, um, but you... You want this because it covers the blade and protects it from getting dull uh, when you're not using it. So you want to make sure it has a blade, which the Furminator does. The next feature that is very common in all these shedding tools is a stainless steel brush head. Um, you will be hard pressed to find one that doesn't have a stainless steel brush head, but if it does have a different metal um, used or even a plastic brush head, uh, plastic is not nearly as durable. If it's got another metal, you may have to worry about rust. Uh, with stainless steel, you can give this a quick rinse and with warm water. Um, you can also use a mild soap if you want to do that um, just to clean it and you don't have to worry about the rust. So stainless steel is very important. Um, again, you're going to be hard pressed to find one that isn't, but just keep that in mind. Um, so now on to the features that make the Furminator unique. One of those is this blue button right here. It's called the Furjector button and it slides when you push it in. It slides a little blue piece of plastic underneath the teeth of the brush and it slides those out and it'll eject the fur. So if you're brushing your dog, you're brushing along and it gets full of fur, all you have to do is put the furminator over the trash can, press the button, and that fur is going to drop off right into the trash can. You don't have to pull it with your fingers. So um, not a must have, but certainly a nice convenience. Uh, you will find this on some other de-shedding tools. Um, it's not super common. Furminator was the first to do it, um, but there are a couple now that are following suit doing the same thing. So if you like the idea of that convenience, it's something to look for. Now, the Furminator actually um, is not my favorite dog de-shedding tool. Uh, it's not what we commonly use to de-shed our dogs, but it is my favorite handle. 
Um, so that sounds a little strange, but I will tell you, I will explain more about this. Um, so you have the nub on the inside, the nub on the outside. The nub on the inside, when you wrap your hand around it, the nub fits right in between your index finger and your middle finger perfectly. You don't have to try and line them up, it's just the way that you grab it. It's ergonomically designed to do that. Um, so you're comfortable on the inside. This nub, nub on the top um, acts as a thumb rest. And again, you don't have to specifically look at it and line your thumb up. When you just naturally pick this tool up, if you were just to grab it, that's how your hand naturally goes around it. Um, it's extremely comfortable. It has this rubber grip. You'll see a rubber grip on most de-shedding tools, which is a really nice feature so that your hand doesn't slide around. I'm going to tell you why I like the ergonomically designed handle, and anybody that has a Labrador Retriever can agree with me, um, or any breed that sheds a lot. We brush our other dogs a couple of times a week. Um, Sadie, our chocolate lab, needs to be brushed daily, or her shedding year-round is crazy. In the spring and in the fall when she's shedding and those new coats are growing in, it's ridiculous. The amount of hair that comes off this dog, I can, if we go a day or two without brushing her, I can just pet her and rub my hair down, hand down her back and have a clump of hair. She gets those little um, fluffs, we call them in our house, but they're those little fluffy pieces that kind of stick out and you can pinch them and just pull a clump of hair out of your dog. Um, she, it's, it's ridiculous the amount of hair that she sheds in those two shedding seasons. Um, so we end up in those seasons, <clears throat> excuse me, during those seasons brushing her for half an hour, 40 minutes every day. It saves so much time house cleaning that it's totally worth it. It keeps the hair out of our home um, and off our clothes and our furniture. Certainly doesn't stop the shedding, but it, it, it's a huge, huge help. Um, and it, it's better for Sadie. She looks better. She's more comfortable. She doesn't have all that loose hair itching her um, in her coat. So it's beneficial all around. We we enjoy doing it. It's a nice, um, my kids help with it. My husband and I to kind of take turns rotating. It's a nice bonding experience. Um, I, I really, it's, it's not something that we don't enjoy doing, but um, if you don't have an ergonomically designed handle, you are not going to enjoy it because you are going to have hand fatigue after about the first 15 minutes of brushing. Um, if you're prone to uh, hand fatigue, if you have arthritis, carpal tunnel, th things like that that really bother your hair, you want to get a brush with an ergonomically designed handle. The Furminator is not the only one that does it, but um, it, they do it, I feel, in all the, the different um, de-shedding tools that I've used, I feel that Furminator does it the best. So you want to get an ergonomically designed handle, absolutely. Um, so those are some things that Furminator does a little bit differently, some of its unique qualities, uh, and I will um, show this to you up close in, in just a bit, but right now I'm going to move on to the um, other two products that I am comparing. I'm going to start off with the Fur Blaster. This is from DAC Pets, D-A-K Pets, another very popular de-shedding tool. Um, You'll notice the same thing, stainless steel handle as I mentioned. Um, this does not have an ergonomically designed handle, but it does have the rubber grip. The black part is a grippy rubber. Um, it, it's a comfortable handle, but again, you know, after you do it for a long time, um, it might not be quite so comfortable. One thing that um, I will compare between this and the Furminator, the Furminator is almost twice as heavy as this brush. Um, the Furminator does have that hard plastic head um, and the hard plastic body with the rubber handle over it. Um, it's, it's better quality, it's more durable, it's definitely made with higher quality materials, but that also adds weight to it, which is going to add to your um, fatigue as you're brushing, so something to keep in mind. Um, this is much lighter. Uh, another thing that this has that's unique, um, the Fur Blaster, you can see this black button on the top, I'm going to go ahead and push that, and you can remove the head. Now this is um, great for washing, it's great for storing if you're, um, say, traveling or something like that. Um, it's great if you something happens to this brush head, for some reason it gets dull, somebody leaves it out, and who knows what happens. Um, if your house is anything like mine, God only knows what will happen. Um, so you you can remove the brush head and then you just push this down and slide it back in. That's one of the things that the Furminator does not offer is a removable brush head. Uh, this is a one size fits all type of de-shedding tool um, and what I mean by that is where the Furminator had all of those options like I explained to you, this brush head is supposedly good for all breeds, long hair and short hair um, as a de-shedding tool. So I, I will say that we use this on all three of our dogs. Um, it's a little bit wide 
for our small breed. Um, you you are gonna want to watch out for that if you have like a really tiny dog um, or a very small breed. You you will. This is very wide um, for their little bodies, so something to keep in mind. Um, but it the teeth, um, as far as that's concerned, in the de shedding, it it does. Um, get hair out of all of our dogs. Um, it, it's, it works well on our double-coated chocolate lab Sadie. Um, the teeth aren't as long this way as I would like for her double coat because it collects so much hair. It's nice to have the longer teeth so that you're not emptying it every time you brush down her. Um, but it, it works, it does work on her um, and it works on her short hair breeds as well. So they, they say that um, this is suitable for every dog, every breed. Now, same way with the Furminator where it was pros and cons with all the options, it's pros and cons for this as well. If you have uh, one dog, like our, our boxer coat, this is going to work great. Um, if you have a dog with a unique coat, say a double coat or um, a wiry coat, you really want to look for a specific de-shedding tool that's made for that dog, a de-shedding tool that's specifically made for dogs with double coats or specifically made for dogs with wiry coats. Um, but if you just have your run-of-the-mill, like I mentioned, if you adopt um, mixed breeds from the shelter often, this would be a great tool to have on hand. If you have multiple breeds like we do and you just want to have something that you can use on all your dogs to get rid of most of the shed hair, this is going to be great. Um, some dogs it may work better on than others. I do notice that it works better on our little beagle. Um, she's a single coat, but it's thicker. Our boxer is a very um, thin single coat. Hers is a little bit thicker. It seems to work the best on her. Um, it does remove hair from our boxer as well. Uh, and again, as I mentioned on Sadie, our double coat, it, it does remove hair from her. Uh, I would just, I, I just prefer the one that we have that's specifically made for double coated dogs. So. Um, that is the uh, Fur Blaster from Dak Pets. Now you can pick this one up, I just want to double check, yes, you can pick this one up for $19 on Amazon, $18.99, um, so much cheaper, less than half the price of the Furminator, um, and, and works um, very well. It's not catered to your dog's individual needs the way the Furminator is, um, it certainly doesn't have all the features, it doesn't have the, um, whoops, Forgot the card was on there. Um, it doesn't have the the fur ejector button. It doesn't have the ergonomically designed handle. So mm -hmm. you're losing a few of the features, but you're still getting a decent product if that's more along your budget. Um, so I'm going to put that one down here. Oh, just as a side note, this did come with a guard. Um, it was a very... Uh, Poor quality, I guess, is a good choice of words. Uh, guard is a very thin plastic guard. It worked for the purpose, uh, but our little puppy chewed on it the first time that I, I set it down. So it did come with a guard. Um, I just don't currently have that to show you. Um, so, da um, sorry, that was the Dax Pets for a blaster. Now I'm going to move on. Um, this is the Magic Pro from a company called the Happy Dogs. As you can see, this has a guard on it as well. This is a nice thick like the Furminator, a nice thick guard that's going to protect that. Stainless steel teeth, same same thing with those commonalities. Um, it's got the rubber handle, it's not ergonomically designed, but um, it is rubber. It has these little grooves and ridges which actually make it more comfortable and the groove on the top is wider so your, your thumb kind of fits in there. So even though it's, it's not ergonomically designed, it is a very comfortable handle. Um, it's got the rubber grip so you're not going to let it go. And uh, this one has a removable head too as well. There's a button underneath. Slide that off and slide it back on until it clicks. Um, this is actually my favorite of the three and um, I will explain why that is. This is another of the um, one size fits all kind of grooming tools. Um, it is for small to medium dogs um, with short or long coats. So it's not for the larger and the extra large breeds. You can buy um, one for the larger dogs, um, but it is for dogs with short and long coats um, in multiple sizes. I, my preference on this, I, I think a lot of it is because we have a multi-dog household with three very different dogs with three very different coats. Um, if I had only one dog and I tended to adopt the same type of breed, I would say I probably would like the Furminator better because it's specifically geared to that breed and that coat type. Um, if you have a multi-dog household like I do, something like this Magic Pro um, is, I think, going to be a better bet for you. Only because one, for example, if I had to buy a Furminator for every one of our dogs, I would be $200 almost into 
Ferminator de shedding tools by the time that I was I got one for all of our dogs. Um, after you you buy them all and you pay the shipping and that kind of stuff, um, which is just to me as a regular family on a budget, we we just absolutely cannot afford that. It's much nicer for us to have one tool that I can use on all of our dogs and that will work well on all of our dogs. Um, as I mentioned about the fur blaster. It did work the best on our little beagle. Um, it works on our boxer and it works on our chocolate lab, but the Magic Pro kind of steps it up a, a, a notch. Instead of working the best on our beagle and um, working decently on our other two, this really works well on all of our dogs. Um, it works very well on our, our double-coated chocolate lab, Sadie, which I was very skeptical about, but it, it does. It's not specifically made for double-coated dogs, but it does work very well on her, which um, really impressed me, and that's what kind of sold me on this one, uh, because she is our most intensive dog to groom, um, so any product that's going to make that easier is, is great in my book. Um, it works very well on our Beagle, who has a thicker coat, and it also works well on our Boxer, who has the thinner single coat and doesn't shed as much, um, so I don't worry about her as much. But um, in the past, I had a, a, a brush for our double-coated dog, and then I also had another one for um, Chloe, our boxer, because her, her coat is, their, their coat is, are just so polar opposites of each other. One is a nice, thick double coat, um, and the other one's a very thin, uh, single coat. So, um, very different, and I did have two different brushes. This one works on all three dogs, and it works well on all three dogs, which impressed me right off the bat. Um, I now, of course, I've already purchased the other two de-shedding tools that we've always used, um, so we'll keep them around, but it's a lot easier for me. Um, our dogs are very attached to each other. It's hard to bring one outside to groom um, because the other ones are inside scratching at the door and whining because they want to be with their sister. So um, I like to bring all three dogs outside. Um, they're all three fairly used to being groomed. Our puppy we're still working on, but um, our lab loves it because she gets groomed all the time in our boxer tolerates it. I don't think she likes it, but she lets me do it. Um, so when I can have them all three standing there, um, I can brush one and keep brushing and keep brushing. When she gets a little bit tired of it, she'll walk away and I can grab one of the other dogs and keep brushing and keep brushing. I don't have to go inside, switch dogs, switch brushes. Um, so really, the Magic Pro has made our total family grooming experience of all of our dogs really much simpler. Um, one other thing that I, I will say about all three of these, um, and it, it is quite typical with de shedding tools. It's not they're not all like this, um, but these products can be used on other animals as well. So if you have cats, um, I use this Magic Pro on our rabbits. We have bunnies who shed a lot in the um, spring as well, so I use it on them. So if you have multiple pets, um, if you have multiple dogs, this is really really stellar. Um, product as far as encompassing your entire family's grooming needs. Um, the Fur Blaster, it does work well. It works well on our bunnies and our cats and other animals. Um, but again, on the dogs, some it's better than others. Um, the Furminator, again, because it's so breed specific, it, it does work on cats. Um, and it did work on our bunnies, but um, where this is made for a short coat, our bunnies have a longer coat. We have a longer haired cat. So, um, you know, again, all those options are a great pro if you have one animal that you're grooming, but when you're grooming multiple animals, multiple dogs, um, that's, those options actually kind of, I think, become a, a drawback to that product. So um, something to keep in mind if you groom an entire family of, if you have a small farm like we do and you're grooming all kinds of animals, it's definitely something to keep in mind. Um, so the Magic Pro won me over in that sense. I love, one, we are on a budget and I'm always thinking, how can I do as much as possible on as few dollars as possible? So um, for this this brush that costs, um, I don't know if I mentioned, this one you can pick up for 24, uh, I think it's $25, $24.99 um, on Amazon. So a bit more expensive than the DAC Pets, um, still quite a bit cheaper than the Furminator. Um, so this is budget friendly and I can get more bang for my buck. I can do more animals and I can do them well. Instead of spending um, the $20 on the Fur Blaster where I get one of my dogs really well, another one fairly decent and one not so great, and I can get the other animals kind of okay, um, you know, I can throw another $5 in, get the Magic Pro, and all my animals are groomed very well. Um, so that to me is what made it 
sealed the deal for me um, with the Magic Pro. Um, and, you know, like I said, this is now uh, my grooming brush of choice. Now that I've tried many, many different ones, um, this is definitely the one I have just... You can see my other reviews too. I've done other D shedding tools. It's not just these three. Um, I've tried a lot of them, and um, these were just the, the top three um, picks that I wanted to share with you guys. So um, I have done individual product reviews on all three of these products, and um, if you want to see those, the links are going to be. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, they'll be below in the video description. If you're watching this on our website, they're right below in the write-up for this article. Um, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, um, again, YouTube, and our website. Um, you can find my email on our website. It is Samantha at TopDogTips.com. Our website is TopDogTips.com. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure you send them um, my way with that. And um, if you want to check out individual product reviews on all of these, um, you can certainly do that. In the individual product reviews, I do show how they work on my dogs. Um, I actually show that in the video, so I'm not just talking to you about um, how it works, but you can actually see it uh, in, in person how it works. Um, if you're interested in that, you can check out those individual reviews. So I'm going to go ahead and show you these um, up close and um, that will probably wrap up this comparison. Again, if you have any questions, please don't be shy. I'm always happy to help um, and I would love to chat with you more about any of these products, uh, the Ferminator, the Dax Pet Tool, or the Magic Pro. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you the close-ups of these products. Okay guys, so here is the close-up of the Furminator. You can see that nice logo right on the front there, along with those stainless steel teeth. Um, I know the lights are bright, I'm trying to do it at some different angles just so you can get the um, look of those stainless steel teeth. And you can see that blue fur ejector button right here. Very easy to push in and when I do you'll see, see that blue plastic piece right there just slides out and it pushes the hair right off your brush um, so you don't have to worry about that. You can see the grip here that nub on the bottom and the nub again on the top. When you wrap your hands around it, your um, index finger and your middle finger just naturally go there. And then your thumb, same thing, just naturally goes right on the top there. So it's got that nice ergonomic handle, um, which is great. One thing I did forget to mention about the Furminator is that this uh, D shipping brush now, depending, as I mentioned, it has lots of different sizes, um, and you can buy them for short hair and long hair. Depending on what you choose, the price is different. This is the um, medium size for short hair, and this one costs $45. Um, if you buy one for a larger dog or for long hair, it's going to cost you a little more. Smaller dogs um, maybe cost you a little bit less, but um, about $50 for a dog brush. So. Uh, certainly this is an effective product. It's the most popular product um, for dog de shedding that there is. So that's great um, and it works, but it's also on the um, expensive end of dog de shedding tools. So just keep that in mind. Um, there are other products on the market that are similar. Um, they may not have all the features like the um, fur ejector button, but um, they might cost you quite a bit less. Uh, there are some really high quality products that are um, only about half this price, so that's something to keep in mind when you're shopping for a dog de-shedding tool. So now I'm going to go ahead and take you guys outside and I will show you how this works on our Boxer Chloe. All right, so here is our Boxer Chloe and we are outside. As you can see, I've taken the guard off the Furminator and I'm just going to run it down Clay's back. When you are um, using a de-shedding tool on your dog, you don't want to push down too hard because that's going to scratch their skin. And you want to go in nice long strokes. You don't want to keep brushing the same small spot over and over again um, because that may also do damage to their skin after a while. So you want to just brush through. One other thing I want to mention about these de-shedding tools CD drooled on me. Um, one other thing I want to mention about these de-shedding tools is that you want to brush through your dog's coat. With a dog with short hair like Chloe, it's not as important. Um, but if you have a dog who's going to have tangles in their coat, you really want to brush through it first. And the other thing you want to do is just go over your dog, feel around, um, and make sure that there's no lumps and bumps that you don't know about because even the little, those little small 
um, like fatty tumors that will get on your dog. Uh, if they catch on a, a de-shedding tool like this, they're really gonna, gonna pull off and hurt. Um, so here's a verminator. You can see it's full of fur. Uh, Chloe is obviously not in shedding season right now. We're in summer, so um, even without shedding, this is the fur that I got off her. And again, that little ejector button, you just push that and your fur is gone. And you can go ahead and brush some more. So this works very well on Chloe's short coat. Um, again, I, I chose the medium size for um, short hair. So it's it does what it's supposed to do. Um, I have used this on our uh, other two dogs previously as well. Um, it's, it's not so great on double coats because it's not made for that. Um, but it does work well on our uh, little beagle as well. She has short fur um, and it's it's good for her so again there's some hair and you just poke that button and it falls out all right guys so here is the um dac pets it is the fur blaster as you can see right there i don't know if you can read that but it's written right on the handle um again when you're looking at this i don't know if you can see this residue here and here, but if you can, um, that's just from the tape in the box, and I have not yet used some alcohol or anything to get it off of there, um, so there's there's that, um, if you're wondering what that is. You can see the stainless steel brush head there. If I turn it to the side, you can see the handle. Remember I said this pink part is the hard plastic, but the black is the rubber, so it gives you that soft grip, um, and also the uh, grip so that you won't slide, your hand won't slide around as you're brushing your dog. I will show you how um, this black button here is what you push to get the, um, the brush head off. You probably don't want to look at the cut on my hand. So you push this down, you just pull that brush head out, I don't have to do it the other way, sorry. So you push that down, pull the brush head out, and then you've got the two pieces. And then to get it in, I don't know if you can see that you need to push this up again um, to bring that level, and then you just push it in until you hear it click. And you're good to go. Um, I have to apologize for the scratch on my hand. I scratched my hand yesterday, um, so it doesn't look very attractive, but uh, sorry about that. So, Anyway, um, this is the DAC Pets Fur Blaster, and this is the close-up for you guys. And now I'm going to go ahead and round up our chocolate lab, and I will see you guys outside to show you how it works on her coat. Okay, so we're outside with Sadie, and I have the DAC Pets Fur Blaster here. So I'm going to show you how it works on her. Um, Sadie actually really loves to be brushed, so she is just her normal goofy self I do it. One thing I do want to mention about these um, de-shedding tools is that you have to be really careful once you get down to um, the areas on your dog's coat that um, are a little bit more sensitive and there's less hair there. Uh, places like their belly, around their face, um, on their rear here, you want to make sure that you're just a little bit easy because if you're pressing down too hard because you're used to going through, like for example, Sadie's thick coat, um, if you get there and you're using the same amount of pressure, um, you may end up scratching into your dog's skin so you want to be really careful about that. I like to get these little tufts on the back of her legs because that's where a lot of shed hair comes. Um, just to give you a reminder we are in the summer season here in Maine so Sadie technically is not even in her shedding season but thanks to her nice thick coat we get plenty of extra hair. As you can tell, this works really well on her double coat. It works really well. Um, her hair is a little bit longer as well. But we do have a boxer, and we also have um, our Beagle Mix. And it works well on both of them as well. Uh, neither of them shed the way that Sadie does. So if you have a double-coated dog or an excessive shedder, um, you know, this is a really great tool. The only thing that I don't really like about it is, and, and you'll see as I um, keep brushing Sadie, is that once it fills with hair, if you don't, pull it out soon enough it ends up um, the the teeth aren't very long so they don't catch a lot of hair so hi silly girl so if it gets too full the hair will start um, coming out in clumps and just laying on your dogs first so you have to kind of wipe those off which is a little bit annoying but no big deal um, and that's very common with dog de shedding tools because the teeth aren't very long so you can see CD definitely enjoys her brushing
Okay guys, here is the Magic Pro from Happy Dogs. You can see that it has the guard on it right now. I'm going to go ahead and pop that off. And you've got the stainless steel brush head there with all those teeth. As I mentioned, it has the rubber handle. That's not ergonomically designed, um, but it is very comfortable. It's got these rubber ridges that adds to the grip and it also adds to the comfort. Um, it kind of gives your fingers somewhere to rest. Um, and then, you know, like I mentioned, it doesn't have the actual thumb rest, but your thumb in this bigger um, gap here sort of rests right there. So it is, it is a comfortable brush to hold. Um, it's fairly light. As I mentioned, you have, um, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a button under here. You press, I'm going to have to press with this hand. Sorry about the, the cut on my hand. Um, so you press that button, and then the head just slides off. And you've got your brush head and the handle. And then same thing, you just slide it on and wait till it clicks. And then you're good to go. There's that stainless steel brush head again. So I am going to go ahead and uh, round up our Chocolate Lab Sadie and I will meet you guys outside. We are going to um, see how this works on Sadie's double coat and I will show you that in just a second. Okay guys, so I'm outside here with Sadie. She is our double coated Chocolate Lab and as you can tell she loves to be brushed. We do it all the time so she's very familiar with it. Um, with Sadie's double coat, it's very thick um, and it pretty much sheds all year round the joys of being a lab owner. If you have a lab, you know the constant saga of trying to brush your dog and get rid of that unwanted hair. Um, so I'm using the Magic Pro. Sorry. Go on, Chloe. Sadie loves to be brushed, so she always acts like a goofball every time I do it. Um, so you can see that I have the Magic Pro, and I'm just running it down her. When you're using a um, de-shedding tool like this, you want to make sure that you're going in long strokes if your dog will, will let you. Um, labs are known, if you don't have a lab and you don't know when, they are known for their goofy personalities and Sadie certainly fits the bill. So as you can see, we just keep pulling out clumps of hair here with Sadie and I pulled out a bunch more before I even started recording. Um, so this is not shady, Sadie's shedding season. Um, in the fall when she, I mean in the spring when she really sheds, uh, a de-shedding tool like this is a wonderful thing to have. Come here, see. I know, you're a groupie. So you just want to do nice long strokes like this and it pulls that hair out from, um, in Sadie's case it pulls it out from her undercoat and then gets rid of anything that's on her top coat that might need to, to go as well. You want to be easy around the sensitive areas like their neck, their belly, their rear end, things like that um, because they don't have as much hair there. So if you're putting a lot of pressure, it's going to scratch your dog's skin. Um, that's one thing that you really need to be wise of when you're using a de-shedding tool because of those stainless steel teeth. They really can get down in there and scratch. Um, so as you can tell, Sadie loves the Magic Pro. I enjoy the Magic Pro too. It works. It gets uh, the hair off of her and keeps it out of my house. So we are both very happy with this product. Hi, Sadie. If you guys have any questions that I haven't answered in the review so far, um, don't hesitate to send me a message. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can email me on our website, topdogtips.com. You'll find my email, which is samantha at topdogtips.com, um, and I would be happy to answer any questions. I encourage you guys to leave uh, questions on either one of our social media outlets or um, on our website and the reason for that is because if you have that question chances are other dog owners do too so if I answer the question for you it's probably gonna help somebody else out so don't be shy I am happy to help out if there's a product review that you're looking for on our website that you haven't been able to find yet um, just send me an email let me know that you're you're interested in um, maybe say a dog shampoo or you're interested in um, a dog bed and, and you're looking for some good ones and I'll, I'll try and see what I can do and um, get some reviews up for you guys so you can check out some products that you might be interested in. Um, so this one gets a good review from both Sadie and I. Again, it's the Magic Pro. 
from the company Happy Dogs, um, and I will put the link for uh, their website in as well, so you can find that right below. If you've got any questions, let me know, and if not, I will be back next time with another great product review for you guys. Thanks.